Question 16. How do you define universe parameters? Answer. The first step in creating a universe is to specify its parameters. These parameters include the definition of a universe which is comprised of the universe name, a description of the universe, a connection to an RDBMS. You enter universe parameters from the universe parameters dialog box. This dialog box also lets you set up database options, external strategies, graphic options, and print settings. Question 17. What do you mean by object qualification? Answer. The qualification of an object reveals how it can be used in multi-dimensional analysis. An object can be qualified as a dimension, a detail, or a measure. In the universe pane, the symbol beside each object indicates its qualification. Question 18. What is drill up slash down slash by slash through? Answer. Drill mode allows you to analyze data from different angles and on different levels of detail. Drill down displays next level of detail in hierarchy. Drill up goes back up through the hierarchy to display data on less detailed levels. By using drill by option you can move to another hierarchy to analyze other data that belongs to a different hierarchy. Drill through if the lowest level of detail you need is not currently available in the report. You can drill through to the database directly from drill mode and get the data you need. You do not have to edit the query in the query panel. Question 19. What are the formats supported for business objects documents? Answer. You can view business objects documents in the following formats. HTML, PDF enhanced document format, business objects format. Question 20. What are linked universes? Answer. If the data provided is from two different data providers then we can link those two universes. Such type of universe is called linked universe. Question 21. How do you design a universe? Answer. The design method consists of two major phases. During the first phase, you create the underlying database structure of your universe. This structure includes the tables and columns of a database and the joins by which they are linked. You may need to resolve loops which occur in the joins using aliases or contexts. You can conclude this phase by testing the integrity of the overall structure. During the second phase, you can proceed to enhance the components of your universe. You can also prepare certain objects for multidimensional analysis. As with the first phase, you should test the integrity of your universe structure. Finally, you can distribute your universes to users by exporting them to the repository or via your file system. Question 22. What are the features in BCA? Answer. Automated document scheduling and publishing. On the server side, Corba enabled features such as load balancing and server optimization using caches, tracing broadcast agent activity. Question 23. What are the roles of PO Administrator? Answer. The following are the responsibility assigned to Administrator. Installations and configurations in a distributed environment. Creating the PO Enterprise Repository. Performing backup and recovery of metadata. Tuning the servers. Deployment of reports. Question 24. What are the resources that are managed by supervisor? Answer. Business objects, products, universes, documents, repository domains, stored procedure. Question 25. What is the technique used in the BCA? Answer. Broadcast agent is a collection of server components that can be deployed over a distributed Corba network. The distributed architecture enables scalability, load balancing and failover. Question 26. What is OLAP interface? Answer. A good OLAP interface writes an efficient SQL and reads an accurate data from database to design the interface and architect having good knowledge on database understanding the report requirements. Question 27. What is an application developer or report developer? Answer. Design the reports according to the report requirement templates. Testing the each report with following types of tests. Unit testing, system testing, performance testing, user acceptance test, UAT. Question 28. What are cardinalities? Answer. Cardinality expresses the minimum and maximum number of instances of an entity B that can be associated with an instance of an entity A. The minimum and the maximum number of instances can be equal to 0, 1, or n. Because a join represents a bidirectional relationship, it must always have two cardinalities. There are two main methods for detecting or editing cardinalities. The detect cardinalities command, the edit join dialog box. 
Question 29. What is designer? Answer. Designer is a business objects is module used by universe designers to create and maintain universes. Universes are the semantic layer that isolates end users from the technical issues of the database structure. Universe designers can distribute universes to end users by moving them as files through the file system, or by exporting them to the repository. Question 30. What are the types of query filter that you use in web intelligence? Answer. There are four types of query filter you use in web intelligence. Predefined filters. Single and multi. Value filters. Prompted filters. Complex filters. 